Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration we are going to see how to create and manage dynamic distribution groups in Exchange 2016. Dynamic distribution group is one kind of subset of the normal distribution group. In normal distribution group we have to add a members manually but in a dynamic distribution group the membership list is dynamic based on some criteria that administrator defines. So each time a mail is sent to this group a query will be done to select the users who are a member of this group. For example, you can build a dynamic distribution group that is intended to include all recipients in a particular Active Directory organization unit. Each time the list is accessed, the membership would be built based on the information gathered from the Active Directory. If a recipient's properties are modified to match the filter, the recipients become a group member and start receiving messages that are sent to the group. Dynamic distribution group can be created and managed by using Exchange Admin Center and Exchange Management Share. So in this demonstration, I'm using Exchange Admin Center and already I log in as our user administrator and that's why we have a sufficient privilege to create a dynamic distribution group. Let's click on groups. Let's click on plus sign. Let's select dynamic distribution group. Let's specify the display name, marketing team. Let's specify the alias marketing. This will be the email address of our group. If you want to add notes, you can add over here. Let's scroll a little bit. Let's select the OU where we want to store this object. Click on marketing team OU. Click on OK. And if you want to add owner, you can select it from here. An owner for a dynamic distribution group is optional. You can add owners by clicking on browse and then selecting the user from the available list. But right now, I'm not going to select any owner for this dynamic distribution group. Now here, we can specify who will be the member of this dynamic distribution group based on certain criteria. By default, as you can see, all recipients types that match these criteria will be part of this group. And by default, we can see all recipient types are selected. If you want to select specific recipients type, then you can select users with exchange mailbox or mail users or resource mailbox or so on. But for this demonstration, I will select all recipients type. And now let's click on add rules. The membership in this group will be determined by the rules that you specify. So click on add rules. And from here we can select the criteria. Like we have options to select the criteria based on recipients container. If the recipients object reside in a specified domain or OU, if you want to select based on a state or provisions, or if you want to select based on a company name, if you want to select recipients from a certain department, that time you can select department and then you have a total 15 custom attributes. If you want to specify any particular value, that time you can put a value under custom attributes. But for this demonstration, I'm going to select the recipients container. Now we want to uh, add all recipients from marketing team containers. Click on OK. And if you see under our Active Directory users in computer, under marketing team OU, we have a total three users, Alex, David and Mary. Now let's come back on our Exchange Admin Center and this will be the member. If you want to add any other rule, you can add over here. Click on save. Okay. And if you see on our Exchange Admin Center, now we have a one group name marketing team and this is dynamic distribution group. So this is the way how we can create dynamic distribution group in Exchange 2016. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.